Hello everyone, I'm high school physicist and welcome back to my channel. My motivation in creating this channel is to talk about some topics in physics for audience at high school level or above. My videos are not simply like what is in textbooks, rather discussing something critically and creatively. I am sure that this is something that can be appreciated and learned by young students and further can attract young generations to love physics. Today I am going to be talking about Kapipu angle, an important angle that is used heavily in particle physics. The agenda for today is problem definition, solution, some remarks, and then the conclusion. To follow this video, you need to have mathematical knowledge of matrix multiplication, trigonometry, which are sine, cosine, and tangent, and mathematical function fx. In weak interaction in particle physics, there is a range of phenomena that can be explained generally using this diagram show. There are two inputs, I1 and I2, and the physical process results a number that is m. So m is a function of I1 and I2. But this doesn't work for the inputs d minus u plus and s minus. u and d results in m which is rather big, while u and s in results in m which is rather small. What do physicists usually do to work on rather big and rather small? Physicists will use something that requires as least number of parameters as possible. Please pause the video and think for a while what it is. Okay, physicists can use the function of sine and cosine and take an angle as a parameter. We can select small angle theta c or big angle theta d. Let me select the small angle theta c. It is seen that at theta c, cosinus theta c is rather big while sinus theta c is rather small. And subsequently, we can make a symbol like is shown on the screen. I then rewrite the results we selected from the previous slide. Now let's us move on to a composite reaction that involves S minus U plus N D minus. And the corresponding mathematics for M5 is shown on the screen. However, this doesn't match with the experiment. How do you solve this problem? After working hard, some physicists suggest to introduce a new particle, C+. C+, will replace U+. Now, there are four inputs which are D-, U+, S-, and C+. And it looks more symmetrical. Finally, the experiments said that minus sinus theta c and cosinus theta c must be the factors for this new particle C. To summarize, we have four cases, or we can write mathematically as these functions. How do we interpret and formulate these? Let us think about these four functions. First, we can see that there is a kind of rotation. But what is rotated? We have to go back to our original general function that works for other cases, which is m as a function of i1 and i2. Can we bring the new four cases into the same form as our general function f? One of the solutions is to absorb the cosine and sine factors into one of the inputs, and then rename the new input as variables with prime. 
for example d becomes d prime please be careful with these new inputs as sinus theta c is converted into d prime minus and d sinus theta c is converted into s prime minus thus we have converted our original inputs into a new set of inputs and the rotation is now recognizable we can now use our original general function with new sets of inputs the first input i1 doesn't change but the second input i2 we have to convert for some cases as for d and s experiment said that theta c is a small angle of 13 degrees and we call this angle kapipu angle as far as i know we do not know how to obtain this 13 degrees from the nature's first principles at this stage we are just happy to obtain this parameter from experimental fitting so it's our call and challenge to be able to deduce this 13 degrees for some first principles finally relating to physics u d s and c are quarks with its electric charge m represent scattering or decay amplitude in particle physics and f is a function that is obtained using Feynman rules here i add some remarks our i2 transformation is not unique we can transform i1 instead of i2 also we can transform both i1 and i2 with the total angle of kapipu angle The second remark is about the value of theta c. Theta c in radians or its sine or tangent, the value is around 0 0.225 to 0.23. Staring at this number, I found that this number is close to 2 ninth. Secondly, this number is also close to weak mixing angle of sinus theta w squared with theta w is another important angle in physics called Weinberg angle. Thirdly, if we set up an equation of e to the power of negative 2 pi r over r equals 1, then the solution is a close number 2. Let me tell you that physicists are almost certain to be able to recognize that the setup equation has meanings. Exponential of negative number represents something decaying, and 2 pi r is circumference of a circle with radius r. In conclusion, we started with the discrepancies between theoretical calculations and certain cases of experiments. This is in the weak interaction between up down charm strange quarks and w minus boson this problem was overcome using three steps the first is introducing factors cosine theta c and sinus theta c the second is forcing the existence of new particle c plus and the third is by transforming ds into d prime s prime the particle c plus does exist and the last theta c is 13 degrees obtained from experiment again i want to thank my fellow dark calligraph for proofreading this video if you enjoyed please consider subscribing and leaving a like see you next time and thanks for watching